When planting a garden, you may automatically think of vegetables and flowers, but that means you're neglecting a huge category of plants. We took a trip to Lavender and Rust Herb Farm in Rock Spring, Georgia, where Ivana Patterson is an expert on everything herbs. This week, we're focusing on a beautiful purple herb, lavender. Ah, the aroma. Mmm, that smells so fresh. For exactly. The perfect purple pigment and secret uses. Very few people realize that lavender you can cook with, and I have found that whenever you add a, I like to call it a whisper of lavender into your dishes, then people say, oh, this is so interesting. What do you have in here? Our expert herb farmer, Ivana, says it's very difficult to start from seed. She says it's easiest to use a cutting and plant that. There are more than 250 types of lavender. Brasso and Provence are usually the easier ones to grow. And are more readily available. This is the elegance that they're, that you can get at the box stores. Lavender is a great landscape plant attracting bees and butterflies. And it's also deer resistant, meaning they won't eat it. It's low maintenance, but needs to be planted in an area with good drainage. As we say in the gardening world, it doesn't like wet feet because it is not forgiving. Then Ivana brings us to a very purple part of her yard to show us more uses for lavender. Lavender, from simple bouquets that are popular at weddings. Lavender does represent devotion. So not only is it very fragrant, it's beautiful to look at. To a bath bag. It is heaven, not only fragrant wise, but it's very good for sore muscles and to relax the mind, body, and spirit with. Combine dried lavender, chamomile, bath salts, and oatmeal. So this is bath this salt? Bath salts, this is the Dead Sea salt. See the little, little purple looking things there. Yeah. That's your chamomile. I mean, that's your lavender and oatmeal and your chamomile. Put it in one of these little bags. And, this. and then just float that into the bathtub. But then you don't get all this other stuff in your bag. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Relaxation and surprising palate sensations thanks to something grown right in your backyard. Ivana says if you are adding lavender to any food, just rub it between your fingertips to help release the oil and drop a pinch in. Next week is all about basil, so stay tuned. Yes, yeah, so well, I've known uh, Ivana yes. for you know, about 30 years. So she, she has <laughs> she has done it all with herbs and, and she just, is and a flowers wealth of knowledge about oh, herbs. Oh yeah, she, uh, lovely I didn't person. Even, I didn't even know there was so much to know about lavender. And yeah. just wait until you hear about basil. Yeah, because well, let me tell you something. If you hang around uh, her long enough, you'll find out. Yes, because yes. she's a great teacher about yes, it. She is absolutely. All right, we are.